Hey everyone, it's Vanessa. I'm back from um, going out and getting ice cream. I actually didn't have any. I decided to stay away from it. But, as I promised, I have made my list of all the questions. It's like one and a half pages long. And I'm still actually working on more questions to ask him as well. So, my first question I decided to ask, and you know, I would love feedback on it and see if um, any of you think I should add more or maybe take some questions out, but these are some questions that um, I really thought I wanted to ask him. So, here we go. Is there a chance of the sleeve being too narrow? If they do make it narrow, if he does decide, uh, does make it narrow, how could he resolve it for me? Is it possible to lose too much weight? Because I really am concerned about that. How many years has he been doing the VSG? How many successful VSGs has he done? Are there any sleevers that had to be revised or had any revisions? Has any of his sleeve patients had any complications? How likely is a leak to occur? What would happen if there was a leak? Is it necessary that I have my gallbladder taken out? What's the percentage of incisional hernias? How long after surgery should I hold off on having intercourse? Because my fiance wanted me to ask that. <laughs> He's a nasty pervert. So. What if an accidental pregnancy occurs? Because um, I'm not really a pill kind of girl, and um, I don't want to have the IUD put in. I think it's the marina or whatever it is. And um, so condoms would be me and my boy, my fiance's best bet. And mm, just what if, what if condom breaks? Then I I want to know what would happen or um, what should I do about that because um, my family doesn't believe in abortions and neither do I. Um, no offense to those that do, it's just my, I, I don't believe in it. Um, how, um, next question is how long is my estimated recovery time? Well, I'll, will it be a while before I feel like my old self again? How long do incisions take to heal? How soon do pa gas blah, blah. <laughs> how soon do gas pains go away? Because I'm I am kind of concerned about that. I don't I'm not really <laughs> big on gas pains. I get them every now and then now and yeah I heard after the surgery it's a whole lot worse. And my last question I have so far is what is the post-surgical infection rate for the sur for the hospital and for him like his practice. So those are my questions and I hope you guys um, give me some input on the questions that you have asked. Um, I would love to hear some and maybe, you know, I'll steal a couple of them and let him know, um, you know, and ask him. Um, but those are the ones that I kind of came up with. Um, it took me like three days to come up with them. I'm stuck on only one question. And yeah, I'm curious about all those. So, um, I hope everybody's having a blessed night. It is July 2nd, um, and I'm just getting ready for, you know, all my appointments this month, and um, next month um, with the cardiologist and pulmonologist, and that's it. I hope you all have a great night and a happy Independence Day.